Hello and welcome to week three, unit one. My name is Tonya Kera and it is my pleasure to guide you through this unit where I will introduce you to the implementation strategy SAP offers for cloud implementations. And I will also introduce the tool that help you to make this happen. But before we get to the focus of this unit, let's begin again with the bird's eye view on the intelligent enterprise. You will probably recognize the slide from previous units and you are also already familiar with the objective of SAP to deliver solutions for the intelligent enterprise. There are four core end-to-end -end processes that are part of every enterprise in any industry. Lead to cash, recruit to retire, design to operate and source to pay. All of these four processes bring value to the intelligent enterprise as they accelerate innovation and reduce the complexity of operations. It is the recruit to retire process that defines human experience management powered by the applications highlighted here in the middle of the slide in gold. Let's have again a closer look at the definition and components of recruit to retire. Recruit to retire starts with the question, how does an organization manage its workforce? It helps you to understand, manage, and optimize all aspects of the workforce for employees as well as external workers, meaning uh, get the right number of people and the right workers in the right place at the right time doing the right tasks. There are three sub-processes to the recruit to retire process. Travel to reimburse to manage the workers' travel and expenses along the way. External workforce covers the life cycle of external workers. And last but not least, hire to retire covering the life cycle of an employee. Let's again take a closer look at the sub process. The hire to retire business process covers all phases from planning through payment and closing and spans the applications SAP success factors and SAP S4 HANA. So far, you have learned about the strategy and innovations for recruit to retire scenario and people analytics for hire to retire. You have also learned about even more innovations in the hire to retire business process, such as time and attendance management with SAP success factors and SAP master data integration together with employee central payroll and cost center integration. For this unit, I'm going to focus on the methods and tools that SAP provides to support you with implementing, configuring and operating the hire to retire sub process. So let's get started. Before you can put all the things you just learned in the previous units to use and leverage the value of Hire to Retire, you will have to implement it first. That is why in this week, my colleagues and I want to focus on how SAP supports you in getting started, the implementation, and how does SAP help you to keep the process running smoothly. That will be operations. These are the questions we want to answer this week. And now in this unit, I want to start with the implementation part. Let's look at the agenda for this unit so you know what you can expect. In this unit, you will learn about how SAP supports cloud implementations, the role of SAP Activate, and what is SAP Cloud ALM, how does it support the hire to retire implementation, and what is SAP Central Business Configuration, and how does it support the hire to retire implementation. Before we get into the technical details, it's story time. My story begins with a goal that is to master Mount Hire to Retire. Such an endeavor should not be started without preparation. Who should come along for this journey? Which way do we go to reach the top as fast as possible? Which equipment or tools should we bring? A lack of preparedness can be the first of several challenges we face along the way and it's one of the most common challenges in implementation projects. What do we need to get to our goal most efficiently and in a targeted manner? A goal plan that already has the defined path and comes even with shortcuts. This roadmap we call SAP Activate. Now that we have a goal and a plan how to get there, my team is ready to start the mission. 
but we soon find that there are misaligned expectations in the team regarding progress, responsibilities, and timelines in our project. Next, we are going to use a tool that will help us keep track of the next steps of the overall plan and help us in keeping up with the overall project progress a global positioning system, short GPS. The GPS tool of our implementation project will be SAP Cloud ALM. Just like a GPS, the solution takes the content of the roadmap and helps us to keep track of all the steps we need to take during our journey or an implementation project. However, a journey up the mountain can get long and tedious. Progress might go down and we face the next challenge of declining productivity. To react to this, we're bringing in an expert for steep grounds who can help to lighten the load on my team. That's an alpaca. The alpaca of implementation projects is SAP Central Business Configuration. The solution is designed to manage all configuration activities centrally from one point for all solutions. It also allows for go lives and smaller iterative steps that will help you to see results faster and keep productivity high. Now that the big picture of the implementation journey is clear, let's take a closer look at our problem solving tools, starting with SAP Activate. SAP Activate is an approach to project management that offers predefined solution-specific business processes delivered with a follow-along methodology that is designed to guide customers through implementation and innovation projects. So goes the definition. There are three key components already mentioned in the definition. Number one is ready-to-run business processes that come with clear documentation of process flows, decision points, and interaction of participants in the business process, as well as test scripts also available for hire to retire as part of the intelligent enterprise. These best practices are delivered as part of a methodology with step-by-step -step processes for all members of the project team, such as configuration experts, key business users, to project managers throughout six phases. That is discover, prepare, explore, realize, deploy, and run. On top of that, the task content provides so-called accelerators. You can think of them as shortcuts. They can be documents, templates, or a web link that helps a consultant, a customer, or the project manager to perform the task and complete the work faster or with less effort. Task content is also available for the hire to retire business scenario, along with other business scenarios as part of SAP Activate methodology for the intelligent enterprise. The third and final component are powerful tools for implementation, configuration, deployment, and operations, providing the project team with the ability to manage requirements, set up the solution, test it, run, and operate it. For example, integrated tools such as SAP Cloud ALM. So one of these tools that are part of the SAP Activate methodologies is SAP Cloud ALM. And if you remember, I compared it to a GPS navigation system. It is similar in that it consumes the roadmap from SAP Activate. And please excuse that the comparison falls short in other technical aspects and details we want to look at now. ALM stands for Application Lifecycle Management, and SAP Cloud ALM is there to manage all aspects of the lifecycle of a cloud solution. The solution provides capabilities for both the implementation and operations of the intelligent enterprise, enterprise and also hired to retire. For this unit, I will focus on the harmonized implementation experience. Later units in this week, my colleagues will also present the capabilities of SAP Cloud ALM for operations, so stay tuned for that. Coming back to the implementation lifecycle phases SAP Cloud ALM covers, let's begin with the design phase. This is when we consume best practice and task content from SAP Activate, perform fit to standard workshops, and create requirements and notes to shape the scope and tasks of our implementation project. 
In the build phase, we can then perform configuration activities. For hire to retire, this means besides the configuration of the solutions, SAPS for HANA Cloud, and success factors themselves, these configuration activities can also include the development of extensions and setting up of integrations. For example, the integration to SAP Central Business Configuration I'm going to mention later. In the testing phase, you can then, for example, manage integration and acceptance tests to check the quality of the settings before going to productive with the deploy phase. This last implementation phase is where you can orchestrate the consistent deployment of your changes to production and ensure comprehensive documentation of requirements, approvals, and follow-up activities. The solution covers all relevant SAP solutions for cloud-centric customers and is free to use for customers with enterprise support. If you bought a cloud solution, and this is the case for the solutions SAP S4HANA Cloud and SAP Success Factors for Hire to Retire, you also have fair usage rights for SAP Cloud ALM included. Fair usage rights means that you get up to eight gigabytes of storage for free. If you need more storage, there are memory extension plans you can subscribe to. What is relevant for Hire to Retire is that you can manage all aspects of your Hire to Retire implementation projects with one powerful tool that is SAP Cloud ALM. As it consumes SAP Activate methodology, uh, be that project management tasks like monitoring of the project progress or aspects regarding technical infrastructure, such as requesting tenants. In SAP Cloud ALM, you can select task template, hire to retire. For predefined tasks for the scenario are then loaded into SAP Cloud ALM and are ready to work with. For example, business processes need to, in design phase, uh, to need to build the solution. And let's look at the core capabilities next. So one of the core capabilities of SAP Cloud ALM is process management, where you can consume the intelligent enterprise scenarios, such as hire to retire, and that is where you can see the displayed SAP best practice processes. Process management acts as one work environment for fit to standard workshops. Project members uh, from business and IT side can look at business processes, capture requirements, and notes according to SAP best practice content and ready to run processes provided by SAP Activate. With task management in SAP Cloud ALM, you can manage implementation tasks in a task list viewed by phases of SAP Activate methodology. These are, for example, also tasks to set up the integration with SAP Central Business Configuration. Task management also features customizable views for each project role. For example, project manager needs to trace the high-level overview, whereas a tester only might want to view their test cases they need to test. So test management in SAP Cloud ALM features functionalities to prepare and execute tests, for example, manual tests based on business process content and the integration of automated testing tools for SAP S4HANA Cloud, for example. Last but not least, the capability of change and deployment management is there to manage your requirements lifecycle and orchestrate several deployment tools respective of dependencies in the end. That's a short overview of SAP Cloud ALM capabilities. Let's now move on to our Alpaca. SAP Central Business Configuration is one central point for configuration of all business processes to be configured for the intelligent enterprise. Seamless, cross-component, and particularly helpful for such business processes that span across several solutions, such as Hire to Retire. Please note that SAP Central Business Configuration has only started its journey with the focus on SAP S4HANA. This means that configuration activities for Hire to Retire that are provided by SAP success factors currently have to be configured in that solution. 
SAP Central Business Configuration supports flexible changes of business processes through go-lives in smaller iterative steps. The objective is to stay agile instead of running a fully fledged implementation project for say two years. This also reduces the time to value and thus total cost of operations as you can adopt and innovate on business processes quicker. The ultimate goal here is uh, to support the seamless implementation of end-to-end -end business processes across SAP's intelligent enterprise suite. Let's take a closer look at the capabilities that make this happen. There are five key components to SAP Central Business Configuration. First, there is the project experience. It acts as central access point and gateway to other applications within Central Business Configuration and provides guidance for implementation and configuration steps, as well as transparency as it displays configuration activities by phase according to SAP Activate. It shows only those activities that are relevant in this particular phase. In scoping, you can select those business processes you have defined in a fit to standard workshop for configuration. Your selected scope plus the region will then yield a list of configuration transactions in central configuration. That's where you can then shape the selected end-to-end -end business processes via fine-tuning, leveraging self-service configuration UIs directly in SAP S4 HANA systems. The workspace concept is a technical container where SAP reference content and customer adaptations are stored and that allows us to distinguish between settings from the business process content and customer content, and all of this is based on the content from Business Adaptation Catalog, which organizes structures um, and solution capabilities into a hierarchy of business areas, packages, topics, and options you can then choose and configure with SAP Central Business Configuration. So SAP Central Business Configuration provides a thought-through process that provides guidance and through great user experience and templates to accelerate implementation projects in the intelligent enterprise, starting with SAP S4 HANA. Sorry that the comparison to the Alpaca falls a little short in the technical details. Let's look again at this holy trinity of cloud implementations and how it works together for Hire to Retire. SAP Activate methodology provides a tailored roadmap for customers to implement, for example, hire, the hire to retire process. This methodology supports implementations by providing guidance with step-by-step -step implementation tasks that are described in detail, structured by phase, and the powerful tools to ex execute them, such as SAP Cloud ALM. It acts as a work environment where you can manage all aspects of your hire to retire implementation project. Like a GPS, it consumes SAP Activate roadmaps with its tasks for project management, like monitoring of the project progress or aspects regarding technical infrastructure, such as requesting tenants. In SAP Cloud ALM, you can select the task template hire to retire. As a result, predefined tasks for this scenario are loaded into SAP Cloud ALM and ready to work within seconds. More than you can do in a GPS, in SAP Cloud ALM, you can manage tasks and business processes to execute fit to standard workshops. Once your scoping is complete and you are ready to configure, you can navigate from SAP Cloud ALM to the integrated SAP Central Business Configuration tool. In this tool, you can then manage and execute the configuration activities for SAP S4 HANA. After you have completed your configuration, you can go back to SAP Cloud ALM for the remaining tasks for testing and deployment. Let's recap for this unit. Throughout this unit, you have learned that SAP provides methods and tools such as SAP Activate, SAP Cloud ALM and SAP Central Business Configuration to support and accelerate cloud implementations, such as the hire to retire business scenario. 
The tools SAP Cloud ALM and SAP Central Business Configuration support customers in implementing the hire to retire process by providing capabilities to design, build, configure, test, and deploy the necessary solutions that are for the case of SAP S4 HANA Cloud and SAP success factors. Major benefits of using this implementation approach, leveraging SAP Activate, SAP Cloud ALM, and SAP Central Business Configuration include guidance and transparency regarding necessary tasks throughout the project and seamless integration between the tools used. With that, I would like to thank you for your attention. And in the next unit, Carl Benson will give you deeper insights and also demonstrate in the system how to work with tasks and scopes in SAP Cloud ALM. See you again later in unit four.